Hello everyone, welcome back to Go Niza channel. Every football fan acknowledges that Ronaldo, in his prime, was without doubt the best footballer on the planet. Having the ball, relatively few players could duplicate the dread that the Brazilian produced in rivals. Though Ronaldo was a much talked about public figure throughout his playing career, there are some facts about him kept under wraps. So now, let's figure it out in this video. Ronaldo Lima came from a poor family who struggled to send him to school. He was recognized as a child prodigy in his growing years, mostly in the areas of academics. He's the third child of Nelio Nazario de Lima, Sr. and Sonia dos Santos Parada. He has a brother, Nelio Jr. and a sister, Ione Lima. Due to poverty, he couldn't even register his birth certificate until his father got enough money, to be exact, four days after he was born. However, his mom and dad separated and went their various ways when he was only 11. Having no one to take care of him, Ronaldo had to drop out of school. As at that time, the only way to earn little monies was to play street soccer competitions. He found love in football in the quest to survive. From a poor boy living in the slum to a football billionaire, Ronaldo was linked with a lot of beautiful ladies. He even has a child born out of wedlock when he played abroad in Asia. Ronaldo Lima has two years of dating Suzanne Werner, then a Brazilian model. They began a long-term relationship and lived together in Milan until the beginning of 1999, despite the fact that they were never married. After splitting from Susan Werner, Ronaldo moved on to another beautiful girl, who is the former female Brazilian footballer Milene Dominguez in 1999. It didn't take time before she got pregnant. The couple tied the knot in April 1999, and on 6th April 1999, she gave birth to Ronaldo's first son, Ronald, in Milan. However, their marriage lasted for four years until 2003. In 2002, Ronaldo hooked up with a Brazilian waitress named Michelle Umeza. Until December 2010, Michelle came and claimed that she gave birth to a son named Alexander to him and asked for his acceptance. Ronaldo didn't believe that until he did a paternity test. In 2005, Ronaldo became engaged to Brazilian model and MTV VJ Daniela Sicarelli, who became pregnant but suffered a miscarriage. The relationship lasted only three months after their luxurious wedding at the Chateau de Chantilly. The ceremony reportedly cost 700,000 pounds. After many quick relationships, Ronaldo came to his third marriage in 2008 with Maria Beatrice Anthony. To date, Anthony is the one who holds Ronaldo's heart the longest, when she was the wife of the striker for seven years and had two children together. They have two daughters together, Maria Sofia born in 2008 and Maria Alice born in 2010. For now, Ronaldo is currently dating model Selena Lox who is 18 years younger than Ronaldo. The couple started dating in 2015 and have been together for around eight years. In 2022, Ronaldo welcomed his fifth child with Selena after 11 years of a vasectomy. Ronaldo began his professional career with Cruzeiro before joining PSV in 1994. Here it didn't take him much time to prove his talent. In the second season he got a knee injury and didn't play in a half of season, but he excellently scored 19 goals in 21 matches in that season. After two seasons with PSV, Ronaldo joined Barcelona, but not in a normal way. Joan Gaspard, the former president of Barca, had to disguise as hotel staff to reach him. At the age of 20, Ronaldo came to Camp Nou in the then world record transfer fee in 1996. Later that year, Ronaldo was named the FIFA World Player of the Year, making him the award's youngest recipient. Coming Barca is their salvation, but leaving Barca is their traitor. Ronaldo decided to leave Camp Nou and join Inna Milan, who paid a world record fee to sign him in summer 1997. Here, he unstoppably scored with 35 goals in 32 matches in Serie A. He received the Ballon d'Or at the age of 21 in 1997, the youngest recipient of the award. He had over 200 goals for club and country, but he was out for almost three years due to a series of knee injuries and recovery. Ronaldo joined Real Madrid in 2002 and won the La Liga title in 2002 and 03, which is the first national championship in his career. 
In 2006, he scored twice in the final and received the Golden Boot as the tournament's top goal scorer. From 2006 to 2009, Ronaldo played for AC Milan, then moved to Corinthians before retiring in 2011 due to further injuries. Internationally, Ronaldo Lima played for Brazil in 98 matches, scoring 62 goals and is the third highest goal scorer for his national team, winning the 1994 FIFA World Cup, the Golden Ball in 1998, the 2002 FIFA World Cup, and the 1997 Copa America. Ronaldo is still a wealthy man after retirement thanks to his investment in a large corporation. He has a 45% ownership stake in the Nine Sports and Entertainment Agency, a company that has deals outside mainstream soccer. He purchased a minority stake in the Fort Lauderdale Strikers of the North American Soccer League. In September 2018, he acquired an 82% stake in Real Valladolid, giving him authority over the club's main activities. In December 2021, he bought a controlling stake in his boyhood club, Cruzeiro, investing $70 million in the club. As of 2022, his net worth is estimated at $200 million, which mainly comes from his football career. A mansion in Jardim, America, Sao Paulo, $3.1 million. The former football star used to own a huge mansion in Sao Paulo. He purchased it back in 2014 and then invested $115,000 in renovation to make it cozier. After four years living here, he put it for sale for $3.1 million in 2020. There are 1,280 square meters divided into two floors, four suites with automated curtains and anti-noise windows, and five bathrooms. In addition to the swimming pool, the house still has a lot of marble. A twisted iron staircase connecting the floors, two complete employee dependencies, a complete automation system, sound image and air conditioning, a semi-industrial kitchen, a covered playground integrated into the bedroom area, and a large garage for 11 cars. Besides a metal sculpture of a football player, one of the decorations on the property that most closely mimics Ronaldo Lima's style is another object in the home that attracts attention. The first car that he owns is a BMW 5 Series worth $60,000. This car has lively engine performance and handling, a spacious interior, comfy seats, a wealth of standard tech features, and an easy-to-use infotainment system. The second car in his garage is a Ferrari F355 Spider, which is purchased at $80,000. It can reach a top speed of 183 miles per hour. And the third car that he has is an Audi R8, which costs him $150,000. He is said to wrap it in glossy purple color. It can reach a top speed of 200 miles per hour. After his retirement, Ronaldo has continued his work as a United Nations Development Program Goodwill Ambassador, a position to which he was appointed in the year 2000. He was selected as an ambassador for the 2014 FIFA World Cup. Ronaldo Lima co-owned many sports teams after retirement. Along with motorsport legend Emerson Fittipaldi, Ronaldo was the co-owner of racing team A1 Team Brazil. He also formed a sports marketing company called Nine with his friend Anderson Silva. An avid poker player, Ronaldo became a member of PokerStars Sports Star in 2013. He also played a charity poker game against tennis superstar Rafael Nadal in 2014. He was also appointed as the Goodwill Ambassador by the United Nations and the Brazilian also worked for many charitable organizations after retirement. Ronaldo is associated more with a genius game, injuries and sex exploits, but the fact is that Ronaldo is one of the main fans of alcohol among football stars. As of 2022, he is the second highest goal scorer in FIFA World Cup tournaments with a tally of 15 goals. He is only preceded by German striker Miroslav Klose, who is netted 16 goals. And that's all for the video today. Thanks for watching, and be sure to support us with a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Goodbye and see you in the next video.